Is your truck lit up at night? Mine is. Stay tuned. I'll be right back, y'all. Yo, do da day. Do da, do da. Oh, do da day. Long da do do de. Long da dee da do. Alright everybody, I made it to the rest area just north of Lexington as you can see. That's headed south into Lexington on I-75. But I just did make it. The, the thing says that they're full. You gotta love these freaking lights. They are bright. But we made it here trucks are still coming in so I just did freaking make it to get in here and this is technically officially the last spot that you're supposed to be allowed to park on the curb coming in as y'all can see we have trucks in front of me along the curb and the app says that they are full by other drivers who mark the app and I think them lights are freaking bright. If you can't tell I'm turning when I put a blinker on, there is something wrong with you. <laughs> but yes, I'm tired. We got the two tires put on the trailer here. And from here, I'm only like 780 something miles away from, no, 683 miles away from where I deliver at up in Manistee. Michigan so luckily I can get there and I'll be able to park um, tomorrow because I had to push it as far as I only had like three extra minutes that I could park at or that I could drive so I'm like man I better get me a spot here or I'm screwed and I did get one here y'all man look at that that light is bright at nighttime you know I'm turning but I'm going to park at the, park at the facility. Uh-oh. I got Fozzie playing. They put Fozzie on pause. All right. I've walked around my trailer. I've given it its thingy. So now we can... We can go into the sleeper berth and get my 10 hour break out of the way. Do da do da. But luckily, the mill, there is a mom and pop truck stop, like I was saying earlier. I think I did. Mom and pop truck stop right behind the mill, so you're looking right at it. And this dumb thing, it, it's like it freezes and freezes. I hate this freaking Qualcomm bullcrap. I mean, I push and push and try to get, it keeps losing my location, it can't find my location, then it always screams at me, you're going to be in violation of your hours of service if you don't input a location. How am I supposed to know I can't enter in a location while I'm driving because it locks it up? It's like now, I mean, you know, it won't do squat. Nothing. So I don't know if it's finally, okay, it's finally put me in a sleeping berth. Finally. But, at the mill, there's a mom and pop directly behind the mill, and it's right up there by the Great Lakes. So I'm hoping maybe I can get some drone footage. I don't know what I'll be able to see with the drone, but I'm hoping, you know, while I'm resetting, I'll be able to get some kind of drone footage. I don't think there's anything around there, um, to be honest. Um, so I might be kind of hosed on going anywhere or doing anything while I'm on reset. But I can work on videos, maybe. I don't know what kind of signal I'll have because some of the places that I unload to and I go and it's in the middle of freaking nowhere, you know, cell phone signals crap so I don't know if I'd be able to upload anything 
but I will give it a try, y'all. Anyway, we hope y'all are gonna have a great weekend. I may do a live Sunday. I don't know, if I forgot the signal. Either I'll try to get a video uploaded Sunday or I will try to do a live, depending on how signal works and all that. Y'all know my luck with lives. I have the worst luck with lives and signals, so it is what it is. Anyway, y'all, if y'all don't hear from me then, y'all have y'all a great blessed weekend. I look for a video to come out Sunday or Monday, and we will holler at y'all later. Peace out.